Hello, today I will show you how to add Angular material to an Angular 5 project. Also, show you how to add navbar using the material toolbar. Now back to your code editor. Here I opened the same project that was created from my previous tutorial. If you do not complete that one please watch part 5 tutorial from my mean stack playlist. Otherwise, you can download the source code from GuyThub. Please see description section for source code. I am using Visual Studio Code as code editor. See here package.json file. I just create an Angular 5 project. No material or animations package is not added yet. This is app.module.ts file which contains three component that was added previously. And here the routing of those components home, register, and login. Here the main style file. I have not added any style yet. And the index.html file which is landing page of my app. Let's run it and see the UI. Here the text hello angular. Comes from the app.component.html file which is bound with the title of app.component.ts file. And the home works from the home.html file. Which one is our default routing? To add Angular material, first of all, you need to add material and CDK of the Angular package. To do so, go to the terminal window then type the following command. Here I install both by one command. After installation complete go to the package.json file. See here material, CDK already included. You may see a different version. Then you need to install Angular animations. So again go to terminal and type the command as you see on the window. Let's see the material style where it exists. Go to node underscore modules then add Angular folder. Then material folder. Then prebuilt dash themes. Then you will be able to see existing CSS file, which is available to use. To use material styles you need to import one of them to style file. I choose indigo-pink.css. So go to the style.css or scss file as you define in project creation time. In my case it is scss. Now import the indigo-pink.css of material packages as you see on screen. You also need to import animation module. So open the app.module.ts file. Then import browser animation module, which comes from Angular animation package. Also, you need to include this one in import serene side app module. Now create a new module for Angular material named material.module.ts in which you will add necessary material module those are needed for your application. For this, first, import the ng module from the Angular core. Now define your module with imports and exports options to include a material module in it. Then give a name of your this module. I take material module. Now import a material module from the material package as you need. Here I simply add mat toolbar module. You can add any other if you need. Then copy this material module and paste inside imports and exports array. So that we can access this from other files. After that go back to app.module.ts file and import the material module into that. To use the material design, let's create a new component navbar. Here I get an error here because the project now contains two modules app and material. And I don't specify that after creating the component in which module it will be imported. To resolve this, 
You need to specify the module by adding dash dash module app after the end of creating component command. Here app is the module in which I want to import this component. See navbar component has added already. Now open the navbar component.ts file and copy the selector. Go to the app.component.html. Remove the title section and include the selector of navbar component. Then run the project. Now you will see the text changed in the header section. Back to the code editor and open the nav-bar.component.html file. Remove the paragraph tag. Then add a matte toolbar with set color as primary. This matte toolbar comes from the material module as I defined before. Inside this take a toolbar row. After that add three buttons for routing. Give a label for each button app name, register, and login. Now run the project and see the UI at the browser. It does not load anything. Maybe I do something wrong. Let's check the console. See the message mat toolbar row is not a known element. Maybe I forget to add the material module. Check that at app.module.ts file. Yes. I forget to add material module of imports array section. Add this. Then run the project and check browser. See here toolbar added correctly now. Let's add style for button. Add mate dash button for every button at the navbar.component.html file. To use the material button you need to add mate button module at material module file. So go to that file and add this. Otherwise, you will get an error as I get previously. Then back to the browser and refresh it. Nothing changes yet. I forget to save the navbar.component.ts file. Now check again. See the button UI now changed. After that set routing for each of the button for home. Register. And log in. Then check the routing is it works or not. See the text below the toolbar it changes after clicking on the button. So the routing now works on button click. Let's take the register and login button to the right side of the screen. To do so, need a little bit style. Take a span between the button and add a class. Here I used spacer as the class name. Then go to the style file and add a class spacer with flex grow to 1. Now check that in the browser. Register and login button is now the right side of the browser. Maybe you can see some white space around the toolbar. To remove that set body margin is 0. Now it's perfect, I think. If you need the source code for this tutorial check description section. In my next tutorial, I will try to show you how to use the reactive form to design a register and login form. Please subscribe my channel for latest videos. Feel free to give your valuable feedback in the comment section and share my video if you like. Enough for today, see you soon.